A perfectly comparative firm produces 100 units of output. It faces a total fixed cost of 5,000 rupees. The average variable cost of production at this output is 10. When the production rises 201, the total cost of production is 6070. Then at this point, you have to check whether these options are correct or not. So pause the video, try to do it yourself first. Right. Well, AVC is TVC upon Q. Right, but you are given with AVC S10. You are given with AVC S10 and Q is 100. So TVC is 1000. Okay. Okay. Total cost of 100 units is the sum of total variable cost of 100 units plus total fixed cost. Fair enough. What is the total variable cost of 100 units? 1000. What is the total fixed cost? 5000. So the total cost of 100 units comes out to be 6000. The total cost of 100 units comes out to be 6000. Okay. Total cost of 101 units. When the production rises to 101, the total cost of production is 6070. Right. And total cost of 101 units is total variable cost of 101 units plus total fixed cost. So total cost of 101 units is 6070. Total variable cost is 101 units. Total fixed cost is 5000. Right? Okay. So can we find out what TVC is? TVC of 101 units is 1070. Okay. Can we find out ABC? ABC of 101 units is? ABC of 101 units upon 101. That is a total Q. What is TVC of 101 units? 1070. Upon 101. Right. So this thing will come out to be 10.59. This thing will come out to be 10.59. Fair enough. Right. That is completely fine. And uh, also, can we find out marginal cost? I, I'll tell you what we are up to. Marginal cost is total cost of 101 units minus total cost of 100 units. So it is 6070 minus 6000. 70. Okay. Okay. What is AC beta? AC of 100 units will be what? Total cost of 100 units upon 100 units. What is the total cost of 100 units? 6000. Upon 100. So this thing comes out to be 60. What is the average cost of 101 units? Total cost of 101 units upon 101 units. 6070 upon 101, that comes out to be 60.09. Now you check. The AC curve must be falling. Is it falling? <clears throat> When the output is increased from 100 to 101, AC is increasing 60 to 60.9. So this is false. MC is less than AVC. Is that true? What is AVC? What is AVC? AVC is 10. AVC is 10.59. MC is 70. How is MC less than AVC? This is false. 
MC curve lies above the AC curve. Is MC more than AC? Yes. MC is what? 70. AC is what? 60, 60.9. MC is above. This is true, beta. Firm should exit the industry. I think for this particular point, you need to know about the prices. So if price is greater than the average cost, then the entry is going to happen. If price is going to be less than average cost, then the profits are going to be negative and the uh, exit is going to be there. But there is nothing which has been told, I guess, about the prices. So we can't say about it. So this, I'll take this as false. So I'll go with C. MC curve lies above AC curve. Right? Can you tell me that what are the two conditions which form the long run equilibrium condition of the perfectly comparative firm? Right? Okay. Thank you, Peter.